is watching. Back at Nazareth, there is Claude Bourbonnet coming out of the pits. He's not on the lead. David De Silva is. Embringham is second. Actually, he's coming into the pits, Chris. It looks like there's a major problem and a crash on the racetrack. Looks like Neves is into the fence. But just prior to that, we saw that Claude Bourbonnet, our leader, was on his way in. And Greg Ray's wing is laying on the track as well. The number 27 oh. car, huge crash there, upside down as we get our first look at that incident. So suddenly, a lot of things happening at Nazareth. The Bourbonnet off the lead and into the pits in car number 27 there. Greg Ray out of Plano, Texas, is the man in that car. Take a look at it. Wow. Ooh, that is a scary-looking accident. Helio Castro Neves just lost it in turn number two. Greg Ray had no place to go. The safety crew has gone to work here. Of course, we have no idea what's happening underneath there. He's in the best hands in the world. The IndyCar safety team quickly on hand to give assistance to Greg Ray, who is in the cockpit of the number 27 machine. There you see it up against the outside retaining wall at the Nazareth Oval. He got caught in a, another car's misfortune and went right up over the back of that car and upside down. David De Silva, just earlier than that, had taken over the lead. Let's look at it one more time, Jan. Neves in the middle of the screen there, loses it. And Greg Ray has no place to go. This is the scariest part right there. It looks like hopefully the side of the car made contact with the wall more than the actual top. The team has tried to radio to him and there was no response. Now, of course, the radio communication probably got torn off in the crash. So, so far, no report, but that is a very scary looking crash indeed. So the attention to Greg Ray continues at Nazareth. We're, of course, under a full course shell. Let's go to Gary Gerald. Chris, we're down here checking on the Claude Barbonnet situation. You can see that one of the cam covers apparently came off. There was some oil being displayed. They think that maybe a misfire on the engine was created from the fact that the oil got into the electronics. They're still not absolutely certain. But the man who had that record-shattering speed starting from the pole now sitting here for an inordinately amount of time here in the pits. A very, very bitter disappointment for Bourbonnet. Also, quick update on Hattori. They were having a problem. They think a shock. One corner was just dragging constantly on the racing surface. Well, Gary, the interesting thing that you mentioned was about the oil coming out of that car, because I would say that that's probably what caused this accident in turn number two, because we saw Claude Bourbonnet pull off the track at the exit of turn two. These guys came through, did not know there was oil on the racetrack, and that right now is what has caused this huge wreck at the exit of turn two. Nevis out of the other car involved in this crash. There you see there putting the car of Greg Ray upright on the course. Oh, he's moving he around. Not, apparently just pinned under there. He's climbing out. Wow, isn't that oh a great my. sight? <laughs> wow, they turn that thing over and he just hops out. Oh. And it, you can see news. that is to the left in the blue suit. That's Helio Castro Neves. He obviously was very, very concerned for Greg Ray to make sure that he was okay. And he's probably telling him right now, hey, I came through turn two. I had no idea there was oil there. Thankfully, he's okay. His helmet showing some of the wear and tear against that wall. You can see a big black streak across the side of it. But the safety equipment and the construction of the cars doing their job, again, demonstrating a modern race car is an amazing, amazing machine. Well, let's look at the actual impact. There is the contact. No chance to break any of that speed. They're running about 150 miles an hour through that section, and he is able to walk away from that car. So the two drivers involved are in that picture. Apparently, okay, Neves and Greg Ray. David De Silva leads it. We're under yellow at Nazareth. We'll be back. <laughs> 